believe a good brand should have a good logo and a good slogan. Like the brand Nike has the swoosh and the slo slogan Just Do It, which is really catchy and it sticks in people's heads. And if a good brand is something that you keep on remembering you, it's something you think about, it's like most of the brands you just forget because it's not catchy or you don't, it's not interesting. It's well, they pop up. But that's really annoying. It's yeah. not. That doesn't. Okay. Tell us, tell us doesn't about that. Do What's anything. annoying about that? Why? Because you try and you click on a video to see the video, and then when there's this 30 second, like, <laughs> ad that pops up about things you're not interested in. But except like once you watch loads of videos about video games, the next ad will be about video we'll games. See, yeah. But right. even that, it's just not. It just doesn't work for me. I always skip it. Go to the next page. Check Facebook, and then go back once the commercial's done. Yeah. I don't like when an ad looks fake. Like, uh, for example, if someone is feeling uh, like uh, sad and depressed, and they just consume something, and all of all of a sudden they're really happy and they're feeling great, it, it looks fake and it's not. It doesn't want. To, it doesn't make you want to 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 buy the. The they have to become fun and they make you want to watch it because if you're annoyed by the advertisement you won't remember it and the next time you see the product you might, might think like oh that's that annoying advertisement yeah exactly. that's not by the product which is exactly the opposite of what the big firms want to do yeah and take for example james bond has a certain car and it's really cool you know then you think oh yes later when i older and have lots of money, I want to buy this great car, yeah. for example. For example, if on the TV there would be an advertisement about the cleaning products, then it would have this epic music in the background, it would suddenly make it seem really cool to have the cleaning product. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just, true. No, the, the music, yeah, no, but it really plays a trick on your mind because it's just, it makes everything seem more fun, better, cooler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and yeah, that's what music can do and that's why it's really important even if cleaning products are really boring and I never yeah. use them. I find if it's very subtle, then actually that is probably my favorite type of advertising because I think it's very effective and at the same time it doesn't disturb usually and it's, it's sort of, uh, mostly creates a good relationship with the brand, you have good feelings. I find you know, if, if it's a very disturbing adver uh, advertisement you're looking at at some point, then uh, one often sort of gets uh, negative feelings towards a certain brand. And I think then actually it's kind of did the opposite of what I was meant to do. They just impose an ad and say, buy this, it's the best. They invent stuff, like saying, uh, yeah, it's uh, scientifically proved that it's better when we all know it's not true, and yeah. So I think they, they just try to impose it and make you buy it instead of making you want to buy it. On TV, definitely, way too much. That's, that's a definite problem. I stopped watching TV because of that, and I watched all my TV shows on the computer, no advertisements, and uh, so yeah, TV's probably the biggest problem. With advertisements, we see what's going on in the world, what new products we can buy, and we see the technology and what the human have done, be moving, and we we are we are getting more um, informed and better informed. The biggest advantage of advertising at the moment is as so many uh, even huge companies are funded by advertising. Take for example Google. I mean, if there were no Google, I mean, this world would obviously not be as good. I mean. <laughs>